be against the law to look just damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law. Wake up! Yep, it's that time again. Vape AM brought to you by VaporsOne.com. I'm your host, Anthony Ramella. Well, happy 4th of July to all you guys out there. Uh, it's a wonderful day in our country. I really love the 4th of July. It's such a fun day. Fireworks, family, barbecues, all that kind of fun stuff. But, you know, I got to come to you guys because I know that uh, probably a lot of you out there are going to be around people today who are smokers, uh, maybe family members who just haven't made the switch or don't understand that vaping is so much healthier for them than smoking. So I thought I'd do a fun video today uh, just about that. I'm going to skip birthdays and history and all that because Fourth of July is enough of a history uh, for us today. And I believe that freedom is really one of the things our country has really been based on. And that's why I like to talk about this kind of stuff. So if you are a smoker out there and you're just seeing this video for the first time, you've never seen any of my other stuff, we really believe here at uh, Vape AM and the Vapors1.com that vaping is a much healthier alternative for you than smoking. And the reason why we bring this up, there are a lot of studies out there that show this is really the truth. Uh, for those of you that are 18 to 20 years old that don't know about this, uh, they are actually going to be moving the age for purchasing any tobacco products to 21 here in the real near future. And this is going to be a federal thing. So it's going to go nationwide when that happens. Um, we want you guys to have access to vaping products because we know there are healthier alternatives. Those of you out there that are smokers, I'm going to go through a few things with you today just to kind of ease your mind about what's going on. So first off, let's talk about kind of chemicals and things like that. Cigarettes have hundreds of chemicals in them. Uh, and the reason why that they're dangerous is because when you light that cigarette on fire, that combustion releases so many more chemicals that you're taking into your body and your body actually gets addicted to poisonous things that are in a cigarette. When you look at vaping, vaping is very similar style of smoking because you're actually, you know, using a hand to mouth thing to actually, um, you know, get your nicotine that way. But the thing about vape liquid is it only has just a few things in it. And a lot of this stuff is stuff that you are using every day already. Vegetable glycerin, which is located in a lot of things, even like on, in fruits and vegetables that you get in a can, they actually have vegetable glycerin in there. Propylene glycol, which is a flavoring additive you're going to see in all kinds of other products like flavored soft drinks and things of that nature. Um, you do have some flavorings in there as well, which are no more you know dangerous than like your you know packets of stuff that you put into water with some sugar, mix it up. Um, those are the types of things that are in e-cigarettes. The other thing that you've probably seen in the news is things about these you know devices actually exploding or causing you know, issues like that. Uh, what I want to let you know is most of those cases actually have to deal with people that are not taking care of their devices correctly. Um, and a lot of times that has to do with just the battery that gets taken in and out of these devices. Now a lot of devices nowadays don't even have a battery that you can take out. They're actually what's called an internal battery device and they're really safe because they built in safety things inside of the device to make that the case. Uh, a lot of them you can only push the button for so long before it'll shut itself off. If there's any kind of weirdness going on with the battery during charging, it'll just shut itself down and not take a charge. So there are some really healthy and safe alternatives to get into the vaping, you know, lifestyle. Um, it's going to add years to your life. Things like your taste buds will come back. You'll breathe better. You won't have that coughing and hacking in the morning. It's just something that's a little bit different than what you're doing now. Now, back years ago, a lot of people did not want to get into vaping because there was some expense involved in buying a device, you know, to actually use for vaping. The great thing is now that with these, all these new pod systems that are on the market, make vaping really easy and affordable to make the switch on. So, um, coming to one of the vapor stores, we can kind of walk you through the process of doing this. You can also go to vaporsone.com and check out some of the devices that we have there. But a lot of these devices, basically all you do is you have this little pod and you take some e-liquid and you squeeze some into to it, you close up the pod or allow it to close itself, which a lot of them do now. You pop it onto a device and you just draw in like you would with a cigarette. Not only is it much more cost effective than smoking cigarettes, it's also better for you, up to 95% healthier or harm reduction, as we like to say, uh, than smoking cigarettes. Your house is going to smell better. You're not going to have all that yellow film all over everything. You're going to smell better. And you're not going to have to worry about being around people and wondering if you stink like cigarettes or if your clothes do or if your car does or if you're in someone's house and they don't allow smoking. The nice thing about secondhand vapor is that it's actually safer than the air that you breathe like in your workplace. There was actually a Harvard study done recently that says that that is absolutely the truth. So if you're out there and you're considering switching away from smoking, you can get 
set up completely, especially at one of our vapor stores, for less than 50 bucks. And then all you have to buy after that is just the liquid. And usually you can get bottles of that for anywhere between $5 and $15, just depending on how much you use. But those bottles are going to last you for weeks, um, which is a really nice thing. So if you're thinking out there about quitting smoking and you've been really concerned because you've heard all the horror stories about vaping, allow someone to show you a little bit of the research that's really the truth. The reason why all this propaganda ends up in the media is because these states don't make as much tax money on vape products because they've set up certain things with tobacco companies. And I don't want to get really deep into that, but the tobacco companies actually pay these states extra money because of a, a thing that they've got uh, set up with the government. All right, This is why you're seeing all this bad propaganda out there. Vaping is 95 or more percent healthier than smoking the cigarettes that you're on. And if you like that flavor of a cigarette, there are tobacco flavors out there. But if you'd like to switch to something that actually tastes a little bit better, there are coffee flavors out there, there are fruit flavors out there, there are you know dessert flavors out there. If you come to one of the vapor stores, you can actually sit down at one of our taster bars and actually try these flavors before you actually purchase one, which makes this experience a whole lot easier. So if you've been concerned about, you know, I don't want to go into a vape shop because it's just too overwhelming and these devices are really hard to use, that's not really the case anymore. And if you think there's a real big expense, I bet I could get somebody set up for less than 30 bucks. They'd have a device, they'd have the liquid that they needed, they'd be educated on how to use this. And these things are no much, they're, they're no harder to charge than like your cell phone. You just basically plug it in when the battery goes down and a lot of these devices are going to last you the entire day so it's not something you're going to have to be worried about not being able to take those hits the great thing about it is especially for me is that my life is just so much better now that i quit smoking i was a cigarette guy i smoked camel wide lights i was a cigar guy i smoked cigarellos all those kinds of flavors of those things as well after three days of using my e-cigarette, I was completely done with combustible tobacco products. And it added years and years to my life. I'm healthier, I'm happier. I got so excited about this, I actually started doing a show about this because I want to tell as many people as I can that this is a much healthier alternative. The statistics about how many of these things have issues is really you know, blown out of proportion when you look at cigarettes. Um, even in some of the recent episodes that I've done, I mean, smoking does more damage not only to you know, your self, you know, because of disease and things like that. But property damage, you know, it kills people not only with the diseases, but also just from fires and things like that. And what you need to know about vaping is there's no fire involved with this. This just basically heats the liquid up so that it gives you that vapor. You get that full lung feel and you get to breathe out a flavor that is absolutely divine. And it's one of these things that's going to help you long term. Uh, if you question this at all, if you jump on Facebook or one of those places, there are a lot of sites that are dedicated to people who are going to tell you their story about how they switch from smoking. And these are people that aren't just young people. If you're out there and you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and you've been smoking for 35 years, there are lots and lots of people that have made the switch even after that length of time. And if you think that you can't, you got to at least try. You know, if it's something that you don't want to do, you know, make a big purchase. There's a lot of like disposable types uh, e-cigarettes out there that are available where you can spend a few dollars and just give it a shot and see if it's something that's going to work for you. But I think nowadays you'd be amazed at how similar to a cigarette a lot of these products are. All right, guys, I love you so much. Have a great 4th of July. We want to celebrate this freedom. We want to keep this stuff available to us. So those of you that are out there that are currently vaping, you know about all the restrictions and laws that are going into place. And now would be a great day to send a quick email out to your congressman or even out to Donald Trump and tell him how much flavors have helped you not only quit smoking, but made your life incredibly better. All right, here at Vape AM, you guys, we always have the same goal, and that's to get you to stop smoking or you're gonna die. So make the switch today. It's time, it's time to stop looking at all this bad propaganda and it's time to learn the truth. I love you guys. Those of you that are my regular viewers, I'm going to see you tomorrow. And those of you that just saw me for the first time today, jump over tomorrow. I'm sure I'll have something great to talk to you about then. So have a great holiday. Be safe out there with the fireworks. And I'm going to see you tomorrow.